welcome to the FS Show, featuring your host, Simulation for the Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing very well, Simulation for the Nation here. What is a bit of a surprise today? Uh, we are not normally streaming on a Friday, but here we are. And we're going to be streaming live with the... What was the Cavillian DLC? Uh, which is looking fantastic. So we're going to jump straight into it uh, and we'll see how we get on there today. So before we go any further, hello to FS Gaming, to Pat Joe, to Michelle Coggins as well, to Hellraiser, welcome along, Steven, Sophia, Arthur's, Agri, RK Farm, and DJ Mick Jacks, and Sam Evans, welcome along, guys. Hope you're all doing very well. So let's get ourselves stuck straight into it, I do believe, because yeah, we've only got an hour. Uh, I have other things to do this afternoon, sadly, so we're just going to get plowing straight on into it there, I think. Uh, so let's just do a bit of this, and we'll get some music coming through, and we'll get ourselves into game. Perfect. Hello, Brennan. Welcome along, buddy. How are you doing there today? Um, so as you can see, we are on Meadow Grove. We've got a lot of grass to do, and we're going to start by looking at these guys here. We are looking at the Vicon and the Caverna Mower on two beautiful chariots as well. I think you'll agree. Hello, Simulate Gaming. What's going on, buddy? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so we're going to start by knocking down as much ground as we can with these beastly big Vicons, uh, and then we'll even get into doing some of the smaller fields with the uh, with the Cavernan as well. Uh, and if you want to at any point as well, do make sure that you let me know what you'd like to see because we can definitely make that work. We can try and uh, we can show off some of the other stuff as well. Odrin, welcome along, buddy. How you doing? William Davies here as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What is new? Uh, so we need to fire up the back, but we also need to lower the front down. Now, if you haven't seen them already, I have put three videos out this morning so far with the DLC. Uh, I'm doing four in a mini series there. Uh, so yeah, make sure you check those ones out when you can. Uh, let's fire on the front. I'm doing very well, thanks, Matt. Jack, how about yourself? What's new to say? Hello, Razor, you are not wrong. It looks stunningly beautiful. Uh, as I get about to crash. What we're going to do for this ground as well, we're going to row this all up, so we're going to do a bit of that. I did see a question about the DLC being free on Seasons Pass, and I believe the answer to that is yes. Uh, down. Is it going to lower the front one down for me as well? Possibly not. There we go. Alright, let's get cracking. Hey FS, what's going on buddy? Not too bad, thanks my Jack, not too bad uh, So what map are we on Josh? We are on Meadow Grove uh, This is the place below we down at the bottom of Meadow Grove here Harry, I have no idea what you're referring to There are 30 people in here, which is awesome for me on the random stream, so thank you very much for stopping by, guys. Hope you're doing very well. Hope you're liking what we've, uh, uh, what we've been able to show you so far with the DLC there. I do love this. This event came out uh, on the same time as the 40 series John Deere, so it kind of got overshadowed a little bit there, but I think it is rather nice. Really, really nice. DLC is always for in seasons pass. Yeah, exactly. I thought that was the case. But yeah, the one overarching factor with all of these different, uh, all of these different bits of equipment in the CLC is just the level of detail surrounding every single bit. Each model is stunning. It really, really is. So be really careful that I'm going to hit off the tree. Well, the thing with the 40 series, you know, I'm growing to like it more and more. It is stunning. Why is that one not lifting up? That's weird. The back lifts up. You're going to buy back on DLC? Nice. If anyone has yet to purchase it and you are looking to do so, you can use the link I have coming into the chat right now. Now that is an affiliate link that does help out the channel ever so slightly. Uh, so you can always do that. It's a purchase straight from Di Giants as well, so they get the benefit from it. Does the iPlow have marking option as a real life model? Define marking options for me, if you don't mind that, please, Magic. 
You play in FS19 at the very same time? Nice, simulate. What wheel do you use, Kian? I have a Logitech G29, which is uh, squeaking a lot. If I turn left, it squeaks at me. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's aside from that, it's good. There's the squeak, you can just about hear. What a time. Love the detail texture. Yes, absolutely. Some of the equipment there, you'll see just like things like this with the, the hoses along the back end. There's so much detail on that material texture. But yeah, I'm liking the uh, 40 series more than perhaps I thought I would actually, which is kind of cool. Well, and then let's do one more. And so, yeah, don't forget, guys, this will be out for you all for everyone to download on the 16th, which is next Tuesday. You bought this Logitech setup? Nice, kid. How are you finding it? What's new? Yeah, I would like a side panel. I'm quite got one of those sorted out yet, but maybe a side panel one day. Desk space is tricky though for me now. Oh, I see what you mean, Mad Jack. No, you can't adjust the tilt on it, no. Or you can't uh, allow you to mark out the field. That would become more of an issue with um, with the, the game physics, really, because I think you'd have to redefine how the, the plow uh, ro rotation functions. Uh, so, yeah, it doesn't have that at the moment. Maybe one day. Kits plays the, joy, the GD40 series is nice. The only thing is that the bottom of the door is green and the speed. It is a bit quick. I thought it was a bit quick the other day, though, yeah. Am I playing with a steering wheel? Yes, indeed, simulate. Yes, indeed, I am. So, what we're going to do, we're going to get this little pallet knocked down here. And then we've got a few other fields that we can go and do. We might go and do one of the smaller ones straight off with the, uh, with the John Deere as well. See how we get going with that. And if you want to, you haven't done so as well, do make sure you stop by the Discord server, which is coming through in the links there. It gives you a bit of access to all sorts, really. Uh, and there might be a bit of a giveaway going on there soon, mm, without saying anything else. Uh, but yeah, you might want to join that Discord server and keep an eye on it in the next 24 hours. Hey, Carl Thompson, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? That's good to know, Kian. That is good to know. Yeah, you see, Kittis, I, I even comment on that in the uh, in, in the upcoming video, actually. But no, it's, I mean, it's a welcome change to have it go a little bit faster, but yeah, perhaps a little bit too fast. Hello, Ethan, welcome, welcome. How you doing, buddy? And now we go. Certainly makes for a very quick field when you're looking at this. Oh, I'm missing bits. That was appalling. Let's just uh, go back and get all tidied up. Hey, William, welcome along, buddy. How you doing today? Well, Christy Ryan here as well. And uh, you in as well. Thank you very much for stopping by. Damn it! Hello, welcome. How are you? When's the DLC coming out, Carl? It will be out on the 16th, which is next Tuesday. Really not that far away now. Day has been going very well, David. Very well indeed. Ever since I was very fortunate to receive uh, the DLC early access, there it's been days have been going well. Very uh, a lot of fun actually. So very grateful for Giants for providing me with the opportunity. I must say that very very kind of them indeed. You're getting your Logitech G29 tomorrow, Harry. So that's awesome. That's really cool. Uh, so, my question for you guys now, as we fold this up... Uh, should we... There's a few different approaches we can take here. We can go and crack on straight away with some... Uh, 
with some more mowing. If you'd like to, as this is all rolled up right now, we can even do a little bit of uh, bailing with the fast bail if you would like to. Put that in chat what you want to see us do there. Because uh, the other option is it's either go uh, bailing with the fast bail or go out with the John Deere and the smaller mower on. We'll get some more work done there. And then Mullen, what is going on, buddy? How are you today? Welcome on into the stream. And guys, if you haven't done so already, do make sure you go and check out NM Modern's Facebook page as well to keep up to date with everything West Newton related. Trust me, it is definitely worth it. And I'm doing very well, thank you, William. Very well indeed. So yeah, should we go out mowing with this old girl or should we go and pick up a fast bail? The choice is up to you. John Deere Moen. Hello, Harris. Welcome along, bud. How you doing? 35 people in right now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Fast bill. Hello to Callum Drysdale. Harris, what have you been missing out on? We've just mowed that field there with the uh, with the fence. Get the fast bail out. Fast bail. Like to see that mower. All right, well, we'll do both. The fast bail is going to be nice and fast, obviously. So we'll... Uh, Let's lease a tractor. I am just leasing tractors on Meadow Grove today and making sure that I don't go any higher than 47,000 uh, when I kind of return everything and put the money back in for the let's play. Or for the role play, sorry. Um, I do like this, Massey, though. This is a thing of beauty. Eight, nine. Nibs wants the fast bail as well. Unfortunately, I didn't go John Deere, but we'll, uh, we could definitely actually. Sure, let's go for, yeah, why not? Let's keep it in white. Nope, actually, we're gonna go with that color. Is that code okay to use? Uh, you would have to purchase it, William, from... Yes, but no, sorry, because you've got the free one, it will work. You just have to download it from the website there, and then it will install it into the correct game files for you, so you're good. Hey, Trish, when is the DLC out? Is that out for Xbox? It will be on Xbox. Yes, it's out now. No, it arrives on Tuesday next week. Uh, do you know what? I've, all, I've leased the Massey, so we'll just go and use it. And there is the the wonderful eye plow as well. That is a thing of beauty. There we go. So much grass work to do on Meadow Grove at the moment that this is a bit of a a nice little bonus stream, actually, because otherwise I would never be able to get it all done. And away we go. When does the update for Better Grove come out on console? Um, that's a great question. I know that Nathan's team are working on a, on a testing right now. Uh, and then that'll go up to Giants there. So it depends upon how long it'll take with Giants, obviously. But I know they are working together an update. It's not the final extended update, but it is an update out. Did you rem remake the shop area, King Custard? No, that is part of the update that's coming for, for console there. Uh, but it does look pretty cool. It does look pretty nifty. Oh, bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah, the the, the caliber of the detail on uh, Giant's most recent DLCs is really quite something. It's really pushing the bar. Still need to sort this driveway out. But we've got silage to bail, so that can all wait.
So yeah, the best thing I can advise to do in terms of figuring out when it's actually going to be available, uh, Meadow Grove's going to be available, is just to keep an eye on Nathan's Facebook page. It's the best thing to do. Or he does have a Discord server as well that you can always join. So we are firing up, ready to go. Does help to lower that down, I find. There you go. And the way the pre-charge chamber works here is really pretty cool. I do like this an awful lot. Lewis Bruce, do I have an idea when the Scottish map will come out? Well, the creator of the Scottish map is in the chat right now. Uh, it's still going through various different tests in there. A few multiplayer-based errors that were found and are being fixed. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully it's not too far away. Very much a case of watch this space. I do love the action on the on the back end there as well. Very very nice. And once again, you can see. So we're about to get up to 100%. So kicks it through into the second chamber. Well, I guess finished off for the final 10%, and away you go. Happy days. I'm really sorry because my PS4 broke. No way. Oh, nibs. That's the worst. I'm sorry to hear that. That's very unfortunate. George, thank you very much, my friend. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Mazella as well. Welcome, how are you? This is not a usual stream for me. This is something a bit more chilled out, really, just to have a look at the DLC for the next uh, 45 minutes. Let's spin it around, we'll take that one. Much quicker approach to round Balin, though, I'm sure you'll agree. It really is kicking us along there. Uh, yeah, and then if you want to just stick your Facebook page in chat, by all means, go for it. Make sure you follow along there because, yeah, he will be posting updates whenever there are any. Uh, my Instagram will be having a few pictures on now and again when I am doing testing on there as well. It's just what I'm actually working on. So make sure you go and check that out, which is at s.f.t.n. Uh, I think the link's in the description down below as well, actually. Irish Ag, when will it be out? The DLC or the Scottish map? Hello, Ollie Ridley. Welcome along, buddy. How are you doing today, my friend? Hope all is fantastic. Oh, it's a bail over there. Has this map been edited by you? This is... Everything you see down here is all me. This is my private edit. This is all done as well. Well, my, the whole yard building set up there is all done by the placeables in-game. Uh, the fences over there, that's all... Uh, that's all giant editor. But the, uh, there's also an extension on this yard as well, which was all done by myself as well. Yeah, follow that link there, and, uh, and then we'll keep you up to date with everything West Newton related. Middle Gaming, welcome buddy, I'm doing fantastically well, thanks. How about yourself today? What is new in the world? We are looking at everything DLC, just look at the, the detail in there as well, well I have to show you. I get my ability to fly back. Look at it all. This magnificent the amount of detail they put into that. Really, really is impressive. Thank you, King Custard. I do try to make the maps a little bit more interesting there and a little bit more unique to my series and there's not that many people who still play on Meadow Grove actually but I've kept it going through and uh, it's yeah it's something that's great just to kind of add to the storyline as we go there so works very well for me at least and then people seem to still love it so that's all that matters yeah I don't know who is doing the modeling uh, over at Giants HQ but boy does it look good Do 
just love this baler. Looks incredible. Functionality of it is awesome. So we'll get this little field done, then we're going to take the John Deere 40 series out to do a little bit more mowing. We can also, if you'd like to, uh, just put down in chat if there's any bits of equipment you'd like to have a bit more of an inspection of. Because uh, we'll ha I'm happy to go and do that, we'll have a play around with anything really. What happened to the farm manager, Magella? That's a great question. Uh, we let that series go because no one, uh, not as many people wanted to watch it to be honest. Um, it wasn't anywhere near as popular as any of the others, so unfortunately it was something that we we kind of held off on for a little while. Might come back, you never know. I mean at this point we're cruising along about as quickly as we would with the rake to rake this up anyway. And we don't even lose any speed when we're changing through the bales, that's impressive. Yeah, how is that they really, really do. They really continue to step up and set that, uh, the milestones, really set the benchmark. It's incredible. This field would have taken me much longer. Like, easily another. Oh, missing bits. Alright. Around we go, to tie up these little pieces here, like so. What map do I plan on adding next, Curtis? Um, probably West Newton, I would say, um, based on the testing I've had a look at it so far, and uh, yeah, got a really good feel for that, so uh, yeah, I'd probably say West Newton. Which is likely going to be for the Debt Free Farm uh, series as well. Will the class break ever come out? I'm not sure actually on that one. I don't know. It doesn't look great right now. Maybe in the next FS we might see a few more bits of the class grassland equipment. Is it out yet, Irish Gamer? Uh, is what the, the map or the DLC? Because technically neither are. The, the DLC is out next Tuesday. The map is going to be a little bit longer as we go through testing with it. Let's just abandon this about here for now. Paul, you keep saying John Deere 10 series. What about the John Deere 10 series? We're not going to be using any of those today. Any plans for home farm? Um, no, I didn't even know. I haven't seen anything about that. What is the map's name? The map's name is West Newton. It's a map based in Scotland. Oh, compass to me. Was it on loan at 19? Nice! Let's try not to crash into everything. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go this way. I'm going to show you some of... Uh, for those of you who haven't seen Metagrove Extended, we're going to wing up into the extension because there's a few grass... There's one grass field there that I want to knock down. But yeah, this seems to be going a little bit too quickly for my liking. Do you know how much a DLC will cost on console, Irish Gamer? Ooh, I believe it's the same. I believe it's uh, depending upon where you are. Fourteen ninety-nine euros or or USD. Oh, well, that's gone well. Let's see how I can get out of here. 
try and get through here. You got like 400 dairy cows, nice. I'll keep you going. Perfect. Four meter wide mower on here, so it does stick out a little bit. You gotta be a little bit more careful than I was to begin with there. Imagine if a Mikhail Bailey came out, yeah, that would be awesome. That would be cool. Uh, right now, Paul, no. We're just going to be using what we have to mainly show off, the, uh, show off this mower and the equipment that we have there. So this is all new. This is all designed and kind of implemented by myself here for the purpose of the, uh, the role play. And we're going to go into that little field there. It's a bit of an odd field how to figure it, how it's kind of being worked out and designed, but... It'll do the job for us. There's some hay over there that's drying nicely as well. Would I ever? To be honest, probably not. And the main reason for it is when you put maps up on public service, they tend to get trashed. Uh, and you'll spend more time kind of rewriting them and making it work again. So, probably wouldn't be doing that myself. Alright then. Okay. I have a slight issue with the way my configuration works, that's better. No. What's causing that to do that? We're good. All right, Let's go forward, not backwards. That'll help. So yeah, four meters wide, but he's still getting a fairly hefty little um, pass here. And we'll get this one all knocked down as well. Then there's going to be a lot of bailing to do at some point. This is probably going to be hay, though. So we'll get this uh, thrown around a little bit. It gives us a good opportunity to use the, uh, the tether if we have enough time. 40 Modern's Cavillian Trail Mower is better. <laughs> it's, it's got a swap on the back, which is obviously good, but I do like this, I find, has a... I, I don't think there's any, mowing, or any models out there that are better than Giant's models. Uh, and that's no disrespect to, uh, to 4D at all. But uh, yeah, this one is the kind of the base model really, whereas 4D has made a very good kind of more advanced uh, mower. There's no doubt about that. But 4D's cane trailers that are coming, my word, do they look good. How many dairy cows do you have now? At the moment, we're about 250 here, 260, trying to get that, that number a little higher. So that's gonna be, that should be creeping up there to about 300 soon enough. We've got a lot of milk to sell, so that'll really ger generate the uh, the revenue to go to go big. Do I think a 6930 will come out? Do you know what? If you'd asked me a few weeks back, probably not. But there seems to have been a few John Deere's hitting the mods the hub recently. So watch this space. I hope so. That'd be pretty cool. They're nice looking track of those. It is a good looking John Deere as well though, isn't it? Heavens. Really impressive. How much time do you spend between episodes feeding? Quite, quite a bit actually. Yeah, I'm on uh, 18 day seasons as well, so yeah, it's quite a lot. Hello Sarah Moore, welcome along, how are you today? Thank you for stopping by. Uh, what we're going to do is lower that up.
All right, I'm flying through this little field. Whoa. That could well be the case, and I'm yeah, definitely. The interior for this is rather impressive. Hey, Farmington, what is up? Welcome on to the stream. How are you doing today? Uh, 18, yeah, because I have so much grass and so much silage made that I want to actually have a chance to use it, you know? That was my main thought behind it. Ah, uh, four headlands would be enough. It's in a small field. Oh, hang on, let's just uh, get, the, get the air conditioning up and work in there. There you go. Will John Deere Motor come out? Uh, it's a great question. I do not know the answer. I'll have to wait and see on that front. Simon Broad, welcome, buddy. It's going very well, thanks. How about yourself today? What is new? We've got 54 people in here. 41 likes, that's awesome. Let's see if we can just creep up to 50 likes. Seeing nine away. We've got about another half an hour left to go. What made me decide to remove my HUD for role plays? This made it feel a bit more realistic, really. Uh, to be honest, that's all it was. Do you think Sandy Bay will pass testing for console? That's a great question, Sarah. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping so. Uh, I don't know what it failed on last time, to be honest. So I, uh, I, uh, yeah, I couldn't quite say. Uh, Xbox gaming, it is warming up. Yeah, we've had a few days above kind of 35 degrees, and it's getting, it's creeping up there. It's getting sticky as well. Do you losing yield by leaving it overnight? Um, that's a great question. You ca it can run away a little bit if your um, if the conditions aren't favourable. We'll have to we'll have to watch that actually. Mary Kelly, what was that mod? This mod is the John Deere 40 series, and this is a Cavernlin mower, which is part of the uh, Cavernlin and Vicon DLC that is arriving on Tuesday from Giants. And there is a link if you've yet to purchase it. Atlantic Man, hello, welcome. So yeah, this is the mower, the trail mower is part of the new pack there, which I think is great to see another trail mower. The butterfly mowers are great, love them, but we have a lot of butterfly mowers, so it's nice to see something a little different. Now what I think we're going to do, we're going to mow this field, we're going to drop the mower off up at the store, we're going to go and pick up the, um, the plow, because there's a small field of potatoes I want to plow over. Yeah, the Cavernal is 41, 40 L, 4 meters wide, very nice little, uh, little bit of equipment. Why did PC get better mods? It's all to do with just how easy it is to get them up on, uploaded on PC, licensing, and one well, many other things. Alright, just like that, we are done. This is fairly dry anyway, it looks like it's not going to take too long to, uh, to uh, wilt and dry out a little bit. We had a warmth bite than the weather craft itself. Yeah, it likes to do that from time to time. One for the gram. It's a great question, Atlantic Man. It is a great question. I guess we'll have to find out. So what beacons in still? Always. Oh. And then at least it's only 20 minutes of work and not like 4 hours or something. Killian, what do I think of the John Deere Arena? I love it. It's awesome. It is very nice. A few, it's a little quick for what I would anticipate, but pretty darn special. 
Sounds menacing as well. Now what we're gonna do here... I feel like this is a good photo opportunity somewhere. Mary Kelly, what map is this? This is my own edit of Meadow Grove for my Let's Play series. For my role play series, sorry. This is, if you look, this is the area of, oh, let me bring it on. This is the map of Meadow Grove. You can see that the, I've built onto the bottom of the place area there. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this motor up to the store and we're gonna return it. There's the fast spell that we were just using earlier. We're gonna go and put the eye plow on now. If anyone else would like to see any other equipment whilst we're up there, just let us know in chat there. We can have a bit of a look. We've got about 20 minutes or so left to go. 54 of you here, welcome along each and every one of you. How are you today? How is your Friday? What's going on this Friday? What are you looking forward to over the weekend? Why didn't Plus put any rakes in as the DLC? I have no idea. Maybe uh, they were saving them. Maybe they were using them somewhere else. I don't know. I spent many a year purchased on the right side fender of the 4440. Nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, well, I'd definitely like to look into something like that, Curtis. All I'll say is keep an eye out on uh, on tomorrow's. It's going to be tomorrow, actually. Dairyman Diary tomorrow. Ralphie, what's up, buddy? Welcome along. How are you? Uh, so we're just going to drop this off in here. It's your birthday on Sunday. Nice. Happy birthday for Sunday, Shadow. Eek. Ooh, nearly nailed it. Please look at the wrapper, Fiona. We can definitely get the wrapper out. We're gonna jump onto the plow. We have no bales to wrap though, unfortunately. Doing well, thank you, Ralphie. Very well indeed. This thing. This is possibly my favorite piece of equipment on the whole thing. The fast bale is very impressive, but the plow, the plow, the plow. I don't know if you've seen this yet. I did uh, document it in my in my uh, first look. We lift the guy up here. First of all, it doesn't just look mean. That's really good. So then watch what happens here, how the plow moves. First of all, you're going to roll it over into the transport position there. Then you're going to lower down the packer roller, the head slot splits, and then it even pushes out the plow. Isn't that neat? John D6920, welcome buddy, how you doing? We've done a little bit of mowing and some bailing so far. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of looking into, the, into this beauty. Look at the way it now pivots a little as well to help you get around corners. That's awesome. So we're gonna make this old, uh, this tractor work a little bit. Yeah, I know what you mean, NM. It is. The plow, I think, just gets it for me. I like the fact that you can add on the packer roller if you want it, and if you don't, it's no big deal. Oh, I have gone the wrong way, but never mind. I'm gonna creep up here. So, what it does now as well, it means that your plow just isn't swinging wildly out of the corner. Which is a, a nice uh, little feature. That one? It is that one. Well, that's pretty handy dandy. Thank you, John D. I very much appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Welcome to the stream. For Paul as well. And like I say, guys, if you haven't done so, make sure you. Come and follow along on my Discord because in there I am going to be uh, running a little bit of a, a competition in the next 24 hours, I think. 
Phones won't crash into my gateways consecutively. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by lifting this guy up. Hello John Paul! Welcome to the stream, how are you doing today? Using on the stunch of the patch on nice Ralphie. That's a good idea. Yeah, it does look stunning. Now we are gonna have to start with the cultivator on the side there, but it'd be cool if that was we could lift that up. But we'll just do our first pass here and then we'll get ourselves up and working properly. Doing very well, thank you, Jump All very well indeed. I do a series on 19 and 17, that's a great question. I prefer 19. FS17 is great, it's nice, it's good to go back to for nostalgia. 19 is just better in my mind. Um, it's just, it is just better. And that's my opinion there, and if you think 17 is better, then of course you're more than entitled to do it. Look at the way that flower rolls over, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's seven, uh, 19 is just slightly better for me. FS17 boy, welcome along buddy, how you doing? Ooh, uh, we'll get back in line, perfect. Love it. A magic, uh, a magic cultivator there. Can you fold the packet out of the way when you are working? No. Uh, not on either arm there, it's only, uh, only function is to be able to, uh, to fold it when you're ro rotating the power around. You can't lift it up like you would pass normally. And I'm just going to double check that, but uh, the operations I have is for the door on the John Deere. Jump ball, yes! Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is the first real time I'm getting some solid use out of it, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. Oh, that's awesome, John Deere. That's really cool. Thank you so much. My, uh, I ordered a mug and it should be with me soon. This, the delivery time is a little longer than usual because of the uh, uh, the current global pandemic, but yeah, it is arriving, so uh, my mug should be arriving pretty soon. I'm excited about. Press Z. Hold on. Shut the front door. Why didn't I see activate packer there? You guys are right. Oh. My word. Makes me think it couldn't get any better. Obviously, I don't want to lift it up there, but. I don't know how I never saw that, that's incredible. Always need a good mug for some coffee, you know it. Just join the Discord, perfect Michael. So yeah, what we'll be doing, I did do a giveaway two weeks ago, or a week ago, sometime like that, for DLC, uh, for PC only. Uh, so, the first person who won the DLC has already received that copy. William is in chat here and he was the lucky uh, recipient. So he's all good. But this uh, second gentleman I cannot get a hold of. Um, he doesn't follow any of my social media. He doesn't, uh, he's not in Discord. He hasn't responded to any community posts I put out there. So we're gonna offer it again, but it's gonna be in Discord this time on uh, probably tomorrow. So join and then I'm gonna put a post and you have to reply to that post and uh, I'll pick someone at random from there. So if you haven't done so already and you wanna get a free copy for PC, make sure you just come and join in there. Hellraiser, we will see you Sunday, my friend. You have a good one. Just popping in before milking. That's perfect, Liam. How are you today? What is new in the world?
Yeah, I thought I thought for all the money in the world that that didn't lift up. I guess I'll try and do it with mouse, not with uh, with a button. So I'm late, I was stuck in, hey, Arthur's family life, that's cool. That's all right, you're here, that's the main thing. We're going to be going for about another 10 minutes. Uh, so we're just having a bit of a, a play around with the eyebrow. I saw that, Curtis, yeah. Yeah, all right, I want to make it fair and I want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to. So make sure that, like I say, as long as you're in the Discord server there, it'll, uh, the, I will make sure I tag everyone in it so you've all got a fair chance. And then we'll, uh, I'll offer it to someone at random from there. And like I say, it's PC only, be it Steam or Direct Download, so either way, you're good to go. And yeah, don't forget, there's currently three episodes live of the review for the, uh... Let me get over a little bit more. I'm missing streaks with the packet. Um, there are three episodes live for the DLC review. There's a fourth one coming. It's not going to come until tomorrow morning. Uh, I just thought I'd space things out a little bit more, so we'll keep an eye out for that one as well. Man, I love that. That's really cool. Can you please keep a John Deere? All I can say is keep an eye on tomorrow's episode, Jerry. You may well be a happy man. Power! AJ Hickey, welcome along, buddy. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, you've missed us doing a bit of mowing with the Cabernet Mower uh, and the Vicon Mower. You've missed us uh, doing a bit of bailing with the Fast Fail. Uh, with, for the next five minutes, we're just kind of wrapping up with the uh, with the eye plow here, which is a thing of beauty. Hello, Sean Lynch. Welcome on in, bud. How are you? Big Willie, what's going on, buddy? How are you doing? Cannot be the deer. I think you're right there. Especially a classic deer. I don't know what it is about them, but yeah, they're good. <laughs> it's all right, Arthur's farming. You're good. When is Sandy Bay come to console? As soon as it gets through testing for console, really, which could be, it could be a couple of days. It could be a couple of weeks. Uh, uh, best thing to do for that is keep an eye on both the testing page for Giants and also, and perhaps more crucially the um, Oxygen David's Facebook page as well. There uh, we go. Fed Farmer 3, welcome, welcome, how are you? There's a fog. Let's just, uh, over one more time. The falling action from inside here as well. Like, I have no idea how you'd begin to plan that. I don't know. Right, or how you program it, sorry, would be a better phrase than plan. There's your thumbnail, folks. Plowing technology has certainly changed from when uh, I used to do the plowing. We need some old 20 series, yes. There's a couple out there, but yeah, a few old ones would be nice. You know, there's a 6910S, that's nice, John Deere. Thank you, Kyle, it's very kind of you to say so. Welcome along to the stream, hope you're doing very well. We've got about five minutes left to go. It's only a quick one whilst we kind of show off what's, uh, what's new in the world of the DLC there. We're, we're cracking a lot. I wonder if you. Oh, no. Hello, Neil. How are you today? 
And just yeah, a reminder, if you haven't done so, there are going to be lots of pictures of the DLC and of the series and testing for NM's uh, West Newton map as well on my Instagram. So make sure you go and check that out, s.f.t.n. Link, I think, is in the description of the stream here, so you can keep up to date with everything there. When's the next stream? It's going to be Sunday, John Deere. Sunday afternoon. Uh, so the two series, two streams we're going to be doing, one is both the FS show, one's going to be on Sunday, one's going to be on Monday. Haven't decided which order, but it'll be Meadow Grove and Sandy Bay again there. Um, and then maybe next, later next week we might be doing another stream on West Newton. We're just kind of figuring out what's, uh, how we're getting on with testing on that one. And fixing a few things. I say we, and then Modern is doing all of that. I'm just breaking things and having a good time doing it. So what we're going to do now... Let's still get short, so I don't think we'll uh, continue to turn around. Ah, uh, no, maybe we'll stop you there. Can you roleplay in Sandy Bay? I do, Jerry. I do. It's called the Young Farmer series. It's out uh, every Wednesday. There's an episode from Wednesday, and it'll be out on Sunday as well. Thank you, Adam. Um, man. Doesn't it just look good? Both parts, the tractor and the plow. Stunning. Uh, what we're also going to do whilst we're here. I think we were discussing earlier that my favourite aspects of the Kavilan DLC or the Kavilan Viking DLC are the plow and the Vicon fast line, fast bail. This guy, this is a close third. This is really, really nice. But what's also really impressive is A, the way that this actually mounts up to a uh, the front tank. But all of the drills, when you unfold them, they have like steps that come down. Or they uh, just really kind of tie it all in together. So you unfold the, the canvas on the top there and then these steps fold down as well. It's rather impressive. Really, really nice. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. Is there anything that you guys would like to see quickly before we look at moving on uh, or closing up the stream here? Ha, <laughs> Jerry. That's amusing. I'm not gonna be, the Young Farmer's here to say a lot of people like the Young Farmer, so I'm not gonna be changing that anytime soon. Uh, let's have a quick look at the wrap if someone wanted to see this, so we'll just, We'll get that ordered. We're just going to lease a few of the bits of equipment and have a quick look around for the next few minutes. Uh, the sprayers as well, the fact that they've made these configurable in store is epic. You've got 18, 24 meters, 28, 32, and 36 and 40. 40 meters on one spreader is incredible. Really, really ridiculously big. Castle simulate. So the mowers we have, we can do. Where's it gone? We borrowed a fence for this exact purpose. There you go. Let's go fold these out again. I mean, that looks pretty darn mean as well. There's a nice fence here. Smetty does a great job with this. Hello, Gruff. What's going on, buddy? Catch you Sunday, John Deere. Feel angry. Wants to see the planters as well. Sure. Uh, but before we do, it's the building to be able to do a bit of that. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. See this. They do come under the planters, don't they? Haven't got any of the DLCs apart from the class one. The class one's still pretty darn mean. It's pretty good. That can be sent away. How big is the DLC? There are 20 pieces in total, but there are actually 16, four of which are able to be either uh, 
uh, Vicon or Kvernland, I do believe. Uh, that is your wrapper, which does look rather beautiful indeed. It is configurable, so you can either have it like this, or you can have it with the uh, fold down option on the back end, which will allow you to, um, it tips bales onto the side. That bit right there. Am I keeping the 40 series? Matthew Mercer, we'll have to wait and see. So everything you see here right now is all just high, at least in for the purpose of this demonstration. Uh, now this is the slightly bigger of the two planters in terms of just physicality. The other planter is 12 meters wide as opposed to this nine. Um, but yeah, this is a lovely, the, the way that this uh, the drawbar actually functions is very nice there as well. Uh, but we will have to show that off later because unfortunately I do have to end it right now. I have to uh, be elsewhere. So I'm going to uh, shoot off and do that. We'll leave it here. But all I can say is thank you ever so much for watching who has been here. Uh, it has been a blast. All six of you. Thank you ever so much. We will be back uh, in the uh, on Sunday uh, where we will be hopefully uh, cracking on with a little bit more. I haven't decided yet if it's going to be Sandy Bay and or um, Meadow Grove, but we'll find out later on. If you haven't enjoyed it and you've yet to do so, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to Simulation for the Nation if you've yet to do so. Uh, make sure you check out all of the uh, first looks that we're doing for the DLC as well, because they are pretty interesting. Uh, and it's a really good pack as well. Uh, very much worth your while. If you haven't purchased it yet and you are looking to do so, Finally, I'll just say you can use that link there below, but like I say, make sure you check out Discord tomorrow because you're in for a chance to win another copy there for PC. Uh, until next time though, thank you ever so much for watching, have a great rest of your Friday, and we'll see you all later.